Welcome to Sushi This Week. I'm Mary Lee. It's good to have you with us. Coming up in this week's top stories, we take a look at the 2013 Overseas City Volunteers Training Seminar in Banqiao and Sanchong of New Taipei City. As a part of City's medical mission, we join U.S. City Volunteers and TMA members as they conclude their four-day free clinic event in Los Angeles, California. Lastly, Malacca City Volunteers in Malaysia organize scholarship ceremonies to encourage students to continue their academic excellence. We start the show in Taiwan. The first of the 2013 Overseas City Volunteers Training Seminar kicked off on November 6th at Banqiao and Sanchong of New Taipei City with volunteers from 32 countries. Among the participants this year, we meet a volunteer couple from Malaysia who have been through ups and downs in life, but now have finally decided to walk the city path together. But first, we meet an 85-year-old senior from the Philippines whose family is committed to doing good deeds. The senior's children and grandchildren are all among those becoming certified city volunteers this year. A secret remedy passed down from generation to generation using natural herbs is how senior city volunteer Yang Ke Yingzi helps treat head lice in children. If they apply this, no one in the family will have head lice. If anyone becomes infected again, they can apply the medication once more because it is not harmful to our body. 85-year-old Yang Ke Yingzi from the Philippines makes it a point to join members of her family in Tsiji's charity work. With four members of her family already in Tsiji, Yang was encouraged to come to Taiwan to be certified as a Tsiji volunteer. I felt that I was getting older and there wasn't much I could contribute. They all told me not to think that way. I came with my daughter's son and grandchild. They all encouraged me to come to Taiwan. <laughs> As Yang's family is committed to doing good deeds, her daughter, son-in-law and daughter-in-law also joined the ranks to become certified volunteers this year. I was deeply moved to see how the Jing Se Bo masters work so hard. Before we didn't know much, but now I saw that they make candles and do everything by themselves. I will go back home to share this with others. Whenever disasters occur, or if there's an event, we will all attend together. Yang Ke Yingzi's commitment to a good cause not only set an example for her family to follow, but also those of the local Chinese community in the Philippines. City volunteer Li Jinghua from Malaysia, who used to be a gambler, was heavily in debt. His son was later involved in a vehicle accident, but luckily his wife Lin Baofeng was there to shoulder the financial burden and take care of their son. It was at that juncture that Lin finally convinced her husband to join Tsiji. I am most grateful to the master for saving my husband. He doesn't gamble or drink anymore, and our family is at peace. <laughs> Lin used to spend the family saving on gambling. However, after joining Tsiji, the man realized his wrongdoings and now tries to make up for his past mistakes. Before I joined Tsiji, the friends that I had were also gamblers and alcoholics. Since I joined the recycling efforts, there has been a new focus in my life and I have not gone gambling or drinking again. Having been married for four decades, Li Jinghua and Lin Baofeng failed to walk the Tsiji path with determination and perseverance. It is said that sticks in a bundle are unbreakable and unity is the most powerful attribute in teamwork. It is with the spirit that Tsitians in Perth, Australia have lived by over the past 10 years. And in celebration of their 10th anniversary, a Tsitian camp was organized in which cooperation and teamwork was emphasized. Offloading the items from the van, here there is no distinction between you or me. Everyone does their part to help set up the venue. Even small hiccups are okay.
Here in Perth, the largest city in Western Australia, sittings are holding a camp to celebrate their 10th birthday. Whether it is doing activities out on the lawn or a simulated rescue exercise, each requires cooperation and assistance to complete each task. The one main thing that I think I can get out from this camp is about the inside of life. I try to be more positive with myself and yeah, live my life to the fullest. The biggest change is that city in Perth has expanded. No matter which event I attend, what I see are the same compassionate hearts of all. With an emphasis on unity and mutual help, trainees have learned throughout this three-day camp to be humble and grateful towards others. In the United Kingdom, on November 2nd, England City Volunteers held a charity concert in London. The event was joined by performers from different backgrounds and faiths. Thanks to the volunteers' performances, many audience members were inspired to contribute to help those in greater need. Through a sign language performance, Tzu volunteers not only showed the beauty of sign language, but also Tzu's humanistic spirit. I was very inspired that the founders of Zuchi are actually Catholic nuns, so that's why I wanted to take part. Um, because also in my past, as, um, I did some help in the, the homeless and charity work, so I think it's very important. So I wanted to take part in, and uh, do my part for your organization to show the um, support between Catholicism and Buddhists. Other than a piano performance by Chen Xian Ying, Dr. Kong Mu Huan sings songs he composed himself to pass on his happiness to those in the audience. Kong says that music can ease pain and bring people closer together. And that's what's wonderful about it, and that's why I hesitated. I don't think the word professional, as you said, Dr. Dr. Lee, is quite correct. Professional means to make money for profits. I myself am a doctor like you, and I, I've dedicated myself to helping people. But what I see here makes me feel embarrassed. I, I do nothing of the kind that you do. As the sounds of a violin and guitar blend together, their collaboration represents to this belief that love harmonizes all differences. The performances today were great. I saw all the groups performing in harmony. It made all of us very happy to see. Audience. Yeah, yeah, and, and quite Although the concert was a simple affair, the heartfelt performances touch hearts nevertheless. At its conclusion, the volunteers and audience members came together to perform the silent song We Are Family, thus ending the day on a perfect note. Tsuji's medical mission in the United States continues to care for residents in need. Recently, a four-day large-scale free clinic was held, and what's special about this year is that it also happens to be the 20th anniversary of Tsuji's Medical Center in Los Angeles, California. Government officials and organization representatives all came to show their support and gratitude for all that Tsuji has done for their communities. In the United States, the annual four-day large-scale free clinic held in Los Angeles has not started, yet the patient queue has already formed. Yeah! Seeing volunteers and doctors arrive, those waiting in line cheer for the upcoming medical attention. The second day of the free clinic happened to be the 20th birthday of the Tsuji Medical Foundation in the United States, and many government representatives stopped by to show their support and gratitude. Give Tsuji a big round of applause right now for 20th anniversary. A big round of applause, not a little, a big one. To Tsuji Medical Foundation for your 20th anniversary Medicare Harbor Clinic. First established in Los Angeles, California, Tsuji's free clinics over the years have served thousands of patients. Congratulations for the amazing work that you do on behalf of our communities. Happy birthday and thank you for uh, all your support. We could not run Vision without the Tsuji. Many also brought back their bamboo banks, each filled with their own stories and coins.
This bamboo bank was given to my parents when they came to visit uh, the Zuchi uh, headquarters in San Dimas and uh, they died on May 1st and in cleaning up the house I found it. And I'm so happy to contribute and will keep supporting this organization. On this special event, volunteers were able to go home with their goal of bringing back over a thousand filled bamboo coin banks. Tsuji volunteers prepared 2,000 vegetarian lunch boxes to share, and the fuel for continuing with Tsuji's free clinics is the smiles from the patients' faces. Continuing on the story of the four-day free clinic held in Los Angeles, California, this year's event was also the debut of a denture lab and city's full-service vision bus, where patients received on-site replacement teeth and prescription eyeglasses. City volunteers also did not forget to promote vegetarianism, hoping more people will adopt the healthy habit. In the United States, the last two days of the Autumn Free Clinic held in Los Angeles, California, fell on a weekend. Thus, patient numbers jumped compared to the previous two days. To help, students from the three local nursing schools were on site. Today I have 13 students, but most schools have about 10 students. Usually they range around 1,000 per day. Um, so by the end of the whole session, it can be anywhere from 3,000 to 4,000 uh, people that come through. The most popular departments are still vision and dental, and for the first time, a lab was set up to offer on-site denture services. Some people are missing their front teeth, thus unable to get a job. Today, many dental technicians came to help construct implants. They are able to make the teeth molds on-site and finish a replacement tooth in the same day. Another first is Tsuji's full-service vision mobile truck. In the past four days, hundreds of patients were finally able to receive the glasses they need. I've been with Tsuji for over four years now and we've been doing this every year, so we're proud. Tsuji volunteers also promoted vegetarian food and Tsuji's flower arrangement and tea culture. Janet Scott, the Deputy Director of Homeland Securities, Center for Faith-Based and Neighborhood Partnership, especially flew out to Los Angeles to wish Tsuji's medical mission a happy 20th birthday. I have a bamboo bank that is full, and so I gave um, contribution today in support of the important work that Su Chi does around the world. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we have prepared vegetarian sushi to share. We hope by doing so, more people will be open to the idea of a vegetarian diet and in turn love our planet Earth. United despite race or creed, thousands of medical staff and city volunteers helped over 4,000 people find medical care at the free clinic. In Malaysia, Malacca City volunteers organized three rounds of scholarship awards ceremonies at Johor Bahru's Kulai Retreat to help needy students continue their studies. Prior to the ceremony to celebrate the Hindu holiday of Diwali with care recipients, Malacca City volunteers arrived at a few remote Tamil elementary schools with aid packs in hopes of giving families peace of mind throughout the holiday season. Students outside a classroom of a Tamil primary school are ready to give it their first shot at serving tea to their parents. Later, the room is filled with joy and love. This is the first time my child has served me tea and offered me food. I have never had such experience before. I am very surprised. I feel that my child has become more mature now. To celebrate the Hindu holiday of Diwali, Malacca City volunteers organize a series of aid distributions at local Tamil primary schools in hopes of helping needy families find peace of mind throughout the holiday season. Last year, my two children received city scholarships, which have reduced my financial burden greatly. This year, you give us these aid supplies. I am truly happy. When we were young, we used to look forward to the coming of holidays. Most of the students of these Tamil primary schools are from disadvantaged backgrounds. Tsuji has supported them with scholarships over the years, and we hope that through our efforts, we can bring them holiday joy. Over the years, the Happy Campus Plan has created a cycle of goodness in local Tamil primary schools. 
Many parents volunteer to join Ziji's ranks after the volunteers explain Ziji's charity mission. Ziji has helped me and my kids a lot. Therefore, I want to help out as well. The video you just played was inspiring, so I want to adopt a bamboo coin bank to help the less fortunate. As well, Malacca City volunteers conducted three rounds of scholarship award ceremonies at Johar Baru's Kalai Retreat, helping 118 needy students relieve the financial burden of their families. Part of my scholarship would be used to cover my family's expenses, and I'll save the rest to buy school items for next year. Among the recipients is Turka, whose mother is the sole breadwinner of their family of four. Regardless of her economic hardship, Turka has not given up on her dream of becoming a cartoonist and vows to help less fortunate in the future. Everyone can make a donation. Small amounts can accumulate into something big to help the less fortunate. When we have extra money, we will make donations to help the needy. With Ziji's support and care, these students and their families will move towards a better and more prosperous future. Returning to Taiwan, students of the Tainan Ziji Senior High School recently visited a local recycling station to learn how to sort recyclables, while in Hualien, students of the Ziji College of Technology and Ziji Elementary School visited an organic farm. With their sleeves rolled up and farming tools in hand, these students are ready to harvest this season's vegetables. We follow the farmers step by step in harvesting the vegetables. In the process, I not only learned of their hardship, but also experienced the joy of a good harvest. Through such a trip, Teachers hope that students of the Marketing and Distribution Management Department at City College of Technology will better understand what it takes to grow vegetables and in the future call on the general public to support their local farmers. We hope the students will put their creativity to the test by coming up with marketing plans or setting up platforms to help these farmers sell their vegetables. Also visiting the farm are students of the Ziji Elementary School who realize that the food they eat on a daily basis does not come easy and requires a great deal of effort. Organic food is healthier for our bodies and has more benefits too. Back at school, the children put on their aprons and hats and work together to turn the vegetables they collected at the farm into delicious meals. I think this event is great because it is fun and at the same time very educational. In a day spent in the nature, the students not only gain knowledge outside of their textbooks, but also put their love for the planet into action. In southern Taiwan, students of the Tainan City Senior High School are at a local recycling station to learn about environmental concepts through hands-on experience. I didn't know that these guava bags could be recycled. The things that are easily accessible are in fact treasures. While sorting these recyclables, the students are amazed by the unbearable smells produced by leftover food and drink and learn to appreciate the recycling volunteers for their hard work each day. The smell is unbearable and I don't really want to touch it, but we still have to tear it apart to sort it into categories. Besides sorting the rubbish into categories, the volunteers also teach the students ways to increase the value of these recyclables by cutting off the parts that are dirty. It is then that the students realize they must change their old habits. We should try sort recyclables at home after we collected them. This way we won't create trouble for the volunteers. We should practice these recycling concepts whenever we can. Learning the difference between needs and wants, the students promise they will go home to reduce, reuse and recycle whatever resources they can. On November 3rd, Taoyuan Ziji volunteers held a New Shoot Scholarship Awards ceremony. Among the recipients were three children from the Deng family. Out of the seven children in this family, six of them suffer from a disability. Despite this hardship, Ms. Deng remains optimistic about the future. Adding ingredients into the batter, this is Ziji Kao recipient Ms. Deng, who's learning how to make pastries. She hopes to open a bakery in the future to support her family of nine. In this family, out of the seven children, six have some kind of disability. 
On top of that, with her husband sick and unable to work, Ms. Deng has become the sole breadwinner. Despite the hardship, Deng remains optimistic. Ms. Deng is very positive. She knows that she has to keep positive and not think about all the negative things in her life. When a girl is married and has children, it is her responsibility to take care of them regardless of their condition. You can't just abandon them. This responsibility has given me the strength to go on. When a mother is happy, her children will be happy. In her house, Ms. Deng always keeps the living surroundings clean. She says hygiene plays a crucial role in preventing sickness. To understand this family's needs, the volunteers thoughtfully talk to the children one by one. Upon learning that the family needs extra beds and second-hand computers, the volunteers promise to help them find these items as soon as possible. I am very lucky because many charity organizations have provided me with endless help. Their kindness has made me happier. As a positive role model for her seven children, Ms. Deng's gestures have continued to inspire them to appreciate, cherish and cultivate blessings. <laughs> to reciprocate city volunteers' unconditional love and care, Ms. Deng donates money to her bamboo coin bank on a daily basis. Furthermore, in 2013, three children of the Deng family were awarded with new shoe scholarships. Thanks to Tzu's support, this family will continue to strive for a better future. Moving to Lesotho, a group of housewives have joined Tzu's ranks and now carry out home visitations on a weekly basis. Despite living in poverty themselves, these local volunteers cherish the opportunity to help the less fortunate. Seeing the Tzu volunteers' arrival, this solitary grandma warmly greets the blue and white clad angels. As part of their weekly visits to the Matukeng community, the Sutu Tsuji volunteers once again arrive with love and care, not only helping care recipients clean up their homes, but also tending to their health. <laughs> Thank you for visiting me regularly and helping me clean up my home. By living in poverty themselves, these volunteers do their best to help the less fortunate. Not only do they carry out household chores, but also basic repairs. The volunteers treat me very well. They often visit me, and this time they help me repair my roof. Thank you so much. Joining in song with the volunteers, these care recipients cherish their affinity with Tsuji. At the end of the show, we join Rhythms Monthly as the magazine celebrates its 15th anniversary by holding a photography exhibit in Taichung, Taiwan at the People's Square. The magazine has selected 200 pictures from their database of thousands and features images from the past 15 years. We will leave you with these images. Thank you for watching. See you next week.